What's going on, everybody? Sports Expert here. We do have some breaking news in the MLB again. Another trade. We did have the Lancelin and Joe Kelly trade. We'll talk about that in a second. But we do have a trade that just was reported by Jeff Passan. So, yeah, the Chicago White Sox continue their massive sell-off as they are sending Kendall Graveman back to the Houston Astros, whom they acqu whom acquired him in the 2021 deadline trade from the Seattle Mariners. So he's going to be sent back to Houston. We don't know the return yet, but... Just breaking now from Jeff Passan, Kendall Graveman is headed back to the Houston Astros in a trade. So, yeah, but if you're the Astros, I mean, you got to go for it. You need a reliever. Some guys have struggled. You, uh, Kendall Graveman has a year of control, and you have Ryan Stanek, Bill Maton, and Hector Neris, all the free agents after the season. So, and then you have a guy like. You know, Rafael Montero, who's really struggled. So getting another bullpen arm is really helpful for the Houston Astros right now. And the Chicago White Sox trying to load their farm system as best as possible as it's been a bit weak for a bit now. So, but definitely bolstering it. They got a solid starter. They got the uh, Dodgers number nine prospect. I can't remember his name, but they got him in the trade for Lance Lynn and Joe Kelly. So that wasn't too bad there. So, you know, White Sox, they're looking to you know, make moves, but selling wise. So not what they envision, but it's happening. So we'll see what happens with the interest of Dylan C's and Louise Robert, but I doubt those guys get moved. So, but I got to give the Astros a B on this one. Kendall Graveman's been all right this season. Don't think he's the greatest, been the greatest, but I think the one-year control is solid still. I just don't know if I love Graveman, but it's not too bad. And the White Sox, I think they'll get something decent. We'll see though. I can't really grade him yet, but I have a good feeling they'll end up winning the trade in my eyes. So but we'll see. Because some teams like to overpay and everything. And this is a guy that someone might overpay for, especially with the year of control left. So, and relievers are so volatile. A guy like Graveman could be really volatile in this situation. So you have that. And Joe Kelly, Lance Lynn. I got to give the Dodgers a B for that trade, and I got to give the White Sox an A+. Plus. I love what they got. They got, they did, Trace Thompson was kind of a throw-in, but they got a couple of really nice, solid pitchers down in the minors. I really, I don't know how much money they're eating, but I really do like the return they got from a Lance Lynn, who's older, making a bit of money. Joe Kelly as well, kind of the same with him. I thought it was solid. I believe they're both rentals as well, so... You know, the White Sox are doing, I mean, starting pitching is going to be expensive. I mean, that's a solid return from you guys, so, for those guys. But Graveman to the Astros, Lynn and Kelly to the Dodgers. So, White Sox going on their sell-off today. Maybe there'll be more action, but this is what we got so far. So, I appreciate everyone being their sports expert here. Please hit the subscribe button, read the channel, turn on the post notification bell, like the video, comment what you think. White Sox making a big sell-off. I'm out, guys. Sports expert here. Peace.